a political rally in Port-au-Prince. People here say that this time there is a reason to celebrate. The presidential election has been postponed four times in the last year. Jeanne Enoch says Haitians desperately need a new leader. I'm so happy to be able to vote tomorrow and I will be voting for Jude Celestin so he can bring change to this country and this electoral process is finally over. Originally held in October last year, the election result was scrapped after politicians complained of widespread voter fraud. The annulment of the result provoked nationwide protests. The election was planned last month, then postponed again, when Hurricane Matthew devastated the South. Mother Jean-Pierre has been living in this camp since the earthquake destroyed her home in 2010. I lost my ID in the hurricane, my tent was destroyed and I had to rebuild another one. I tried to get a new ID, but they did not give me a new one. She's among the thousands of quake survivors living in tents in the area known as Del Mas 33. People have been living in this camp for over six years. They're amongst the most vulnerable in Haiti. They have been affected by the earthquake, by the hurricane, and many of them won't be able to vote. When you ask around, most people do not have an ID or won't be able to make it to a polling station on Sunday. Low turnout is not the only problem. The Haitian government is deploying a police force of at least 9,000, and the United Nations is mobilizing thousands of soldiers to ensure voters are safeguard against major incidents. The Organization of American States has sent 100 election monitors to help prevent fraud from happening again. Well, we can never be sure of anything. What we have seen is that many of the recommendations we have done as OAS in the previous elections have been taken into account. What we want to see is an orderly, transparent, guarantee for secret vote and also we want to make a call to all Haitian people to go out and vote. The campaigning is not expected to end on Sunday because polls show that there is likely to be a second round of the election in January. Most people here just want the electoral process to be over with. They have lost hope in Haiti's political system and its ability to improve their lives. Teresa Bo, Al Jazeera, Port-au-Prince.